This is a new development today in the case of the parakeets who made a home in Yakult, Washington. News Channel 8's Nancy Francis is live where those huge nests were removed from the power poles yesterday. Nancy, what's the update? Well, it caused quite an outcry, as you may know already, and I just talked to the Clark County Public Utility District. They have made a decision after that huge public outcry to hold off on euthanizing any more of these birds, which actually are not parakeets. They are called Quaker parrots, but they're also known as monk parakeets. Technically, we're told they are parrots. About 20 of these birds had been nesting on power poles in the town. Clark County PUD said these heavy nests caused power outages in the area and also were creating a fire hazard. So earlier this week, they destroyed the nests and called in the USDA to capture and euthanize the birds. They were able to get only three of them and those three were euthanized. There, of course, was a huge public outcry about that and birds rescue groups got involved. So the bottom line is now Clark County PUD says mission accomplished. The nests are down. No more birds will be destroyed, at least for now. Bird rescue groups praise the PUD and are thrilled with that decision. Oh, but the public has the wrong idea that they are actually out to just kill the birds, and they aren't. They're just trying to find a way to keep the community safe, and that's most important is our, our community. So now that gentleman and other bird rescue enthusiasts are going to be out today trying to cage those birds and take them in, be domesticated. It's said to be a very tough job. I haven't even seen any since we've been here for the past 90 minutes. So they have to track them down and uh, we will follow the action all day today. Back to you. Yeah, a lot of those birds too. A lot of those parrots now we'll call them. Nancy, thanks very much. There's so a new development pets. in the case of those monk parakeets who made a home in Yakult, Washington. News Channel 8's Nancy Francis is live where those nests were removed. Nancy? Well, Brenda, they are known as monk parakeets, but they actually are parrots, I'm told. Officially, they are Quaker parrots. And this morning, in reaction to the huge public outcry, the Clark County PUD decided to not euthanize any more of those birds, which had been nesting in that power pole behind me, as well as several others in town. About 20, as a matter of fact, were nesting in town here in Yakult. And the Clark County PUD said the heavy nests caused power outages and also were a fire hazard. Early Earlier this week, they destroyed those nests and called in the USDA to euthanize the birds. But they were able to capture only three of those, and they were euthanized, those three birds. There was a public outcry, especially from bird rescue groups. They are thrilled with this morning's decision not to euthanize any more birds. And those bird rescue enthusiasts just arrived in town a little while ago. They arrived with their cages to try to rescue those Quaker parrots. We have large aviaries, indoor and outdoor, and we also have uh, tamers that can also tame them down and rehab the birds and actually make them pets. So they will be available for all the folks up here in the community. And so we just want to make sure they're healthy and we can tame them down and place them back with the community and tell them to keep their wings clipped. The question is, where are those birds now? We have not seen one since we arrived in town. And what you're looking at right now is where they used to live. The nests, of course, were destroyed. Clark County PUD says mission accomplished. They will continue to destroy more nests should the birds come back and rebuild, which they are known to do. So in the meantime, the bird rescue crews are out there looking for birds, as are we. We will stay on this story all day and let you know what happens. Back to you. We'll be watching. I know a lot of folks are going to be happy about this decision today, Nance. Thanks. Well, you have heard the same